Thank you for listening to Lone Star Community Radio. This program was broadcasted and recorded live from the LSCR studios in downtown Conroe, Texas. Lone Star Community Radio is supported by listeners like you. Donate and sponsor today. For more information on getting involved with Lone Star Community Radio, contact us at lscrstudios at gmail.com or visit us online at www.irlonestar.com. You are listening to Lone Star Community Radio on 104.5 KCZW LP Conroe and 106.1 KZCC LP Conroe and worldwide at IRLoneStar.com. Good afternoon, everybody, and thank you so much for joining us to listen to the Cindy Cochran Show. And I am Cindy Cochran, so that works out well. And I have two amazing guests today. But before we get to them, I have to say thank you to the Wooten Financial Group. Chris Wooten has this financial group, and uh, they've been around for like 20-something years. And uh, he's, he's so well-known in, you know, in the Conroe area. So if you have trouble with your money, if you have trouble keeping your money, or sp- spending too much money, or you don't know what's going to happen to you in your retirement, Chris Wooten is the person you gotta, you got to call. you got to call him. He's so great, and he's going to do a first meeting with you with no obligation. And he's a fiduciary. And that's not a nasty word. It means that he puts the client first. The client goes first. And uh, if you win, he wins. So it's a it's a good deal. And so we'll have a spot with Chris on it during the show. And he'll give you all the information that you need to know. And especially he'll say, don't listen to anything Cindy says because I'm not obligated to whatever she t- he's, she's saying. <laughs> He actually says that it's a disclaimer, but it's okay. Anyway, uh, but uh, he'll be on, and you'll get to listen to him and hear it come straight out of the horse's mouth. But uh, do y'all know Chris Wooden? Have you ever heard of him? Uh, I The name sounds familiar, but I'm not quite sure. Well, he's he's on a lot of radio shows. He's done a lot of radio shows, and uh, he actually decided to sponsor ours. I see that. And he has sponsored it once before when we were over in the other studio, uh-huh. and he came back. So I told people, I said, see, he's seen the shows, and he's come back, and it's amazing. So um, He obviously knew you, he needed, you needed his help. I, yes. <laughs> does, he, does he know about your Holly Hobby calendar bookkeeping system? <laughs> Sam's tried to keep that from him. You know, if Sam loves him, if Sam loves somebody, you know, because he doesn't oh, love anybody. Yeah. You know, so sometimes I wonder, but he, he's, uh, but he likes Chris. He thinks Chris is really smart, and he... Uh, he feels confident about letting him take care of our money. <laughs> he says, just make sure that Cindy can't have it. <laughs> Don't let her sign for anything. But anyway, uh, so I am so excited today because I have uh, just promoted the way out of these people that I've known for years and years and years. Mike Huffine and Brian Falcon is here today and they're the owners of silver rock productions and if you live anywhere near you know the woodlands or or if you're in involved in any kind of production or you need something you will have been told you need to go get a third job and then go over to silver rock and try and get them to do your production <laughs> do you think that's right <laughs> Look at Brian going, that's not true. Third job for, you know. (laughs) Well, you know, it's it's the way the economy is right now. Yes. But I know y'all haven't been hit or hurt by the economy, right? Oh, Mm -hmm. yeah. Last month, last year was tough. Last year was tough. Last year was tough. Started off really great. We had some, we had some fantastic production that went on. uh, National, nationally known movie that we directed as director of photography and shot and technically Mm -hmm. and then come june july everybody's money just seemed to freeze really yeah work was tough work was tough for the pet the last half of the year and and y'all didn't call me (laughs) well we didn't need a um (laughs) 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 we didn't need anyone to trip over our c-stands so (laughs) i think we were pretty good (laughs) i tried i tried to explain that to people when we do anything i was like okay now look here's the deal if, if a light's going to go down, it's going to go down with me, so you want me yeah. to walk through this once probably before we start yeah. mm-hmm. shooting something. And it, that's really how. Yeah. Well, I've told people that you're the reason we invest in cable ramps and um, 
uh, guards. And, so, and sandbags? Yeah, and sandbags. sandbags. And sandbags. That's yeah, the reason. I remember Sand, those stupid Sandy definitely was a reason for implementing a lot of new procedures, safety protocols. Safety protocols, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, yep. that, we, that was kind of, I mean, the way we come in, we, we had to plan. This is where everybody's going to come in and out, uh -huh. and this is where Cindy's going to come in and out. <laughs> And it was always so much larger for me to come through. But uh, that's okay. I, 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 we had so many years together. I mean, what's, what's weird is that Sam's, Sam mm -hmm. worked with your dad, mm -hmm. at, so he knows him. Yeah. And that was way before we had even met. Yeah. And then uh, Mikey, was I like to call him, because he was at the high school, the same high school that, that my daughter was, and I, how I met Mike was there was a flood near um, where we lived. Mm -hmm. And so I'm driving down this, I'm, I'm in a big truck, and I'm driving down this, and I see Mike running up to the different, <laughs> the different cars and talking to him. I'm going, what is he doing? And he comes up to our car, he says, do you need me to help you get out of here? And I said, no, I got, I got a truck, I got a, I'm okay. And uh, I said, what are you doing? He said, we're just helping people get, get going. And, and if they pay us, it's fine. If I vaguely know. remember that, but I you really do. do. Yeah, it was, was right there in front of Eisenhower. Down on or something oh, yeah. right there, yeah. It was right across yeah. from Eisenhower. I don't even Eisenhower. know if that was Eisenhower. during high school. That was, that was even before high school, I think. That before you been. went to high school? Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think so. Well, I, I, now my first memory of you was at workout, etc. Oh, I know when it. We, you know when we worked there together. So he we was he was <laughs> <laughs> he was a growing boy yeah. and very energetic and very, he, was, he was so funny. It, it was really an interesting conversation. You never knew what you were going to talk about with Mike, <laughs> and um, but he, but he was great. You were you were wonderful. It was a great club. So, yeah, and it was a workout club, and it was mm -hmm. a racquetball club. And uh, that's what. And you know. were the resident professional. I was. I was the one that would teach Cindy everyone. Up yeah. on them there. <laughs> I yep. all the boys come on in, come on mm -hmm. in. Yeah. And, you know, and I had these cut off gloves and long red uh, fingernail polish. They go like, oh, I'm yes. gonna beat this lady to when death. You, <laughs> when you look up, and every now and then you come across these really weird early '80s, not just '80s, early '80s aerobics dancing to. Stuff Olivia Newton John wasn't saying. <laughs> that was Cindy. <laughs> <laughs> I know which one you're talking about. Yes. I, I, Sam came in and go, What are y'all watching? And I said, This is aerobics. He said, For what? And I said, It's, it's for health's sake and, and all that. He said, What are they wearing? Uh, but it was, that was the time that was everybody, you know, was doing mm. those kind of videos and stuff. But uh, it was it was fun. So I knew you way back mm -hmm. the, way back when, yeah. and then uh, Brian. And then when I went to work with for Warner, mm -hmm. uh, I was you called and was talking about either you called or I called y'all to find out if I could use your studio or something something. So and I had reached yeah. out to you. You reached at out Warner to me, yeah, because I knew you were at Warner, mm -hmm. and uh, or I'd heard about that, and I said, hey, we're we're in the area. If you've got any overflow or any work that you need to send, you know, we'd love to be able to handle it. And uh, and you were kind enough to say, you know what? I think I've got something. Yeah. So, yeah. D and and then when I went to work uh, for the church, y'all got a lot of work when I did that. That was amazing. Oh, yeah. They would, they were great. And we had so many videos that we were doing all the time. Oh, yeah, so yeah. it was. And you know what? We're, uh, Jen, that's back editing right now and watching. Oh, good. Oh, we working. have two watchers. Yes, we have That's two great. watchers. Probably. I doubled is, my audience. <laughs> Jen is working on Joy School right now. Oh, my goodness. Which is one of yeah. Jen, Cindy's favorite. That was. And Deborah was. still asks about Cindy. Oh, my yeah. goodness. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that place has grown and grown. I mean, it was those little bee house. Now it's just yeah. huge. So. Oh, if you don't I know what Joy School place. is, a whole other conversation. Look it up. It is amazing. So that's that's, uh, that's they, beautiful because it was. there. We had so many shoots there. It seemed like there was a lot of lot of work there. Yeah. But the, the shoots that we would go on, I got to direct. Mm -hmm. And so one time I had to uh, do a come to Jesus meeting with Michael and say, look, if I'm directing, you got to quit overriding me and saying, um, uh, we're going to do this and that. And, and con you know, it's in conflict with me. And I'm going, I got to be the boss on there. You could pull me aside or <laughs> take me outside and say, look, 
you know, and tell me, because you're going to write the check to me. So <laughs> I'll give you that. But but so we had to have this meeting, and it was it was great after that. He you know, he calmed down and said, okay, all right, that's fine. But but now he's he couldn't wait for me to get out of there. He just couldn't <laughs> wait. You, I, I know that's true. So you could you could then use all that I taught you. Mm. In do you still use those same kind of techniques all the time? Okay, I, so. I wrote a treatment for somebody the other day, just like all those treatments that we used to write, and I still write them just like that. And to be on, and to be honest, the whole Joy School video is mm-hmm. your brainchild is still used today in that on that video they they still go through the same process that process has not changed since you started it is there any royalties involved no Um, okay no no. (laughs) (laughs) we're not charging you to be here today so (laughs) that's that's true matter of fact where do i send my invoice is that to you is i'm not sure yeah to to richard (laughs) richard (laughs) (laughs) yeah and he'll pay you Half as much as he pays me, and it'll be great. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> Half of zero is zero. Because so. we, uh, we do look for sponsors so that I can have gas enough to get here from, from uh, Willis. Mm. And so <laughs> if you know anyone, you know, that would like to sponsor. And he's shaking his head already before <laughs> <He's> I even <laughs> ask him. No, it's just when, when you said gas, it made me think of. of <laughs> do you I'm, still eat Cheetos in your salad? Because I think we still have <laughs> keyboards with <laughs> Cheeto juice all over them. <laughs> That's true. They can say they would come in and go. I know who's been editing. It's uh. Cindy. You know, all I tried to clean up after myself, but but we had late nights. My goodness, how oh, long we gosh. would work! It was just amazing. I couldn't stay up past eight thirty now, and so I can't. I, I think I, of how long we stay up to like two o'clock in the morning or something like that, and I go like, "How uh, did we do that?" We would just have the days you would. I mean, if you've ever seen somebody that just had a really unorganized desktop on their computer or solid desk, that was Cindy, and you know, just files <laughs> everywhere, and and the timeline when she would edit, <laughs> it was just like a mosaic. <laughs> Of just files every when you played it told a story. So yes. Cindy would work really late assembling stuff and it'd be all over the place, but the linearly it, it, it would tell the story. So I'd come in the next day and clean it all up to where we can and so we had the good working relationship with that of, That's of, right. of just learning stuff. So yeah. It's h- kind of hard to say, you know, if you taught or we just learned from working with you, the most difficult way of getting something yes. done. <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> and how to make it easy taking? afterwards. And, and so oh, man. it was a lot of learning. But, you know, because I, I edited a lot at, at uh, Warner mm-hmm. because at Warner, uh, Jeff Weiss, remember yeah. Jeff Weiss? Uh, he came in. And he came in, and I'm going like, um, okay, I want to do this and that. And he goes, I can't do that. And I went, why can't you do it? And he says, I can't do it. So what do you? What else you you got? And I went, well, okay, then do this. And he goes, okay, I think I can do that. But I'm not going to – we're not going to go as long as you want to go on this because it's not going to make sense. And he questioned everything I did, and he told me you can't do that and you can't do this. And it just made me so mad, so I learned to edit. And – I said, okay, Jeff, you don't need to come in today because I think I got this. And he goes, well, you got what? And I said, I got, you know, I, I can I can do this. And and uh, he said, it's not going to look good. It's going to be, you know, he said a bad word. But he <laughs> I said, you shouldn't. And I said, look, I'm going to learn how because I'm not going to take you saying, no, you can't do it. I'm going to find a way to do it. And he goes, oh, brother. But we, but I did. I, I found out because other people would come in. And sit there, and I go. If you wanted to do something like this, yeah. how would you do how that? Would you do, yeah. But when I started working with you guys, it was so much fun because uh, Bryant was brilliant. Was he? He did, and you were brilliant at all the graphics and all that. And and it was just, it was amazing. It mm-hmm. was such a a great team we had, and we mm-hmm. won awards mm-hmm. as well uh, when we did um, the movies. The quick, uh, what was it called? What was that called? The the contest they had. Oh, 48 hour film festival. 48 hours. We, yeah, yeah, we got some trophies from that. Yes, we did. Yeah. yeah. We got, f- got in and got out. <laughs> that. That was, and that's yeah. where I stayed up the most, you know, because I said, mm-hmm. okay, when 
<laughs> when y'all come back in, I'll have it written, and okay. then we'll give out the parts, and we'll do, you know. We had such a team that first year. It was a 48-hour film festival, and we finished six or eight hours to spare. Right. Where half the teams didn't even finish. Right. The others were having to cut stuff out to get to the, the end, but we had gotten so used to working together. We got it done so quick, and then won the local one, won the national one with it. And, all that, and so. the the article that came out in the paper was that we were we were rolling over the big boys <laughs> in Houston, and that's what made the people in Houston have these big production companies oh, and yeah. their studios are huge and all that stuff, and they uh, they didn't understand what you're going to have to do <laughs> is you're going to have to write a piece that has some uh, some draw on someone being handicapped, mm -hmm. handicap, a love romance, and then um, all these different elements that you need to do that will, mm -hmm. people go, how are they doing that in 48 hours? They're gonna make this work and, and get a story told. Well, that was all you. It was yeah, all, yeah, yeah you thank knew, you. You knew that story going into it. <laughs> thank you. And you made, made those elements fit to whatever we drew out as a topic. See, you know? that was what people- The planning was essential. Yeah. Here's what people didn't know is that we, we went on a Friday night and everybody that was going to be a part of this, these all these big, you know, production companies from Houston coming in and we're having this party and then they do a drawing and you mm -hmm. have to draw out what your genre was going to be and what you had to use inside that video mm -hmm. uh, to to be qualified. And so it was like, we want a, a boot. You have to, somebody has to wear a boot and somebody yeah. has to have a this or whatever. And so then you, so I took that and then, and then wrote the concept. Yeah. I already had it in my head, so I didn't know what they were gonna throw at it, but you, but you could put it in there. So then I stayed at the studio all by myself, mm -hmm. working on this and calling y'all and, and <laughs> took, okay, I'm, I'm gonna need this and that, mm -hmm. you know, what kind of equipment and, and what locations. It was the location yeah. that, was, that was weird. And then having Larry there was uh, just, you know, yeah. Awesome. And Larry yep. was the, the second year. The first year we, it was Michael Hunter that the, shot with us because Larry was actually on one of the other teams mm -hmm. the first year. Oh, that's right. And, yeah, that's uh, right. Yeah. And and, uh, and I remember um, having you you editing uh, yeah, back at the studio. As soon as we shoot up, something, yeah. we'd have to bring it in and have it edited. And then um, and Mike was, was doing graphics and Nathan and uh, – Oh, yeah. Bernard Pierre came in and oh, Bernard, the, and uh, so I said, he says, uh, I said, I want this music and it's got to be like this. And then I hummed it to him because <laughs> he thought he was going to look at something yeah. right, written down and no. he was going to play it. I said, it has to be like this. And, and this is what we're going to do. So he did it. I mean, it was it was amazing. And uh, it was just it was so fun. I don't know. I, and mm -hmm. I never I thought well, we got Red Bull was our sponsor. Oh, yeah. Remember? Oh, and yes. so. Uh, that's the first time Red Bull, Bull had really just come out. Yeah. And I tasted that stuff and went, oh, boy, I'm going to just be so jacked up and be able to do everything <laughs> I needed to. And I, and I spit that stuff out. That was I could not. Oh, Red Bull didn't it. give me. We slowly got hooked. And we didn't yeah, know. Yeah. So Red Bull it. sponsored the event. We thought, oh, that's cool. And there was a Red Bull person there. And then after we won, it was like the next week, this, this local rep shows mm -hmm. up. And we're like, oh, cool. And we thought she brought us a case of Red Bull. And then she brings in one of those small refrigerators like you see at the bar. Yeah. Right. And left it with us for was like, it was like two, two three months. months. Th three, three months. months. And then she would Stop come it. by and restock it. <laughs> and so we're sitting there. We're like, hey, it's there. So it's like every time you got a little thirsty, we can't, we were drinking three and four oh, or five man. Red Bulls a day. Yeah. Like and monsters. Those are so monsters. so much work done. <laughs> <laughs> There's a That's certain true. huge church down there that really benefited from a lot of work that we got done. That, and then That's after true. that, it's like we had to cold turkey. <laughs> we had to go. Uh, but I thought yeah. that stuff tasted hor horrible. Oh, yeah. And I felt so bad because they're the sponsors and you better drink this, Cindy. Yeah. And, uh, but we used them inside the, mm -hmm. we had to use them inside yeah. the video as well. And Mike was a star of the second. <laughs> oh. <laughs> And the, Samantha said, you've got to get the shot of Mike opening that door <laughs> and um, in the bedroom. He opens that door and he says, just get it and play it and don't tell him you're going to play it. And, and he, <laughs> I don't even rem remember that. What? We'll put that you on You know YouTube. what that is. <laughs> I'm trying to think about it. 
<laughs> no, we know that what that was, is. It was it was great because that I'm, was in the first one. Yeah, yeah, because uh, when my when my mom died and she was in the in the oh, video, yeah. Yeah. and so we played the video and I forgot about that part in there <laughs> and all our relatives are sitting there watching that and there's oh helen it's so good look at her <laughs> she's signing this up and then we go to the hotel room and what is this and <laughs> he opens the door and he's like half naked and uh, but everybody loves that that shot they love that so much that and was so, fun so we did we did a lot of work and you and think of all the stuff we did <laughs> and we like stretched you know everything oh. that we had that uh talent and everything to uh, to make stuff happen it was it was amazing so y'all were just so great to work with and so now i'm so glad you're still around and you know still. since you don't have me anymore but yes but you've gone on and it made me so proud it's been like you know birthing <laughs> y'all and getting you on your own yeah. no but y'all y'all are so talented you so were great. our production mama yes oh, i yes. was i was oh, yes. i had a silver rock mama I had to feed them too, Richard. Mm -hmm. I had to bring food and stuff, mm -hmm. you know. But I, I had that shirt, that WC shirt. Of you remember the WC TV shirt? Oh yeah, shirt? WC TV. I got that shirt. I don't know who ordered that for me, I, but that? but I put it in the po probably. You did. Oh, yeah. I know. You know what? He, he knows yeah. what I'm getting ready to say. So <laughs> it was in my closet, and I go, like, what is this? And I said, that's a dub. And I pulled it out, and I went, good <laughs> gary. Oh, so, so I put that on, and I went, I'm like Batman. I'm like, what is this? And so <laughs> was I that fat back then? I don't know what happened. It was It was. It, it looks smaller than the catalog he was. <laughs> I'm not sure. I don't think I did that. I, I would have you to don't say. Think, I don't think so. I don't think I did because I don't think I would, but I we'll think uh, it's Aaron. okay. Aaron at the time. Yeah she, yeah, she was probably around then. The, uh, the, yeah, Aaron, we'll do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes, Aaron. Uh, uh, she loves that her, her hand will always be, you know, just oh, yes. there it is with that tape on it and blood on it and the, we put ketchup on real it. real confusing to people that don't know what that image is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Because, uh, but it, it was just it was just a really good film. And so one day, maybe Richard will let me play it since there's no, I guess we can't. We have so many restrictions because oh, it's community yeah. radio and you mm -hmm. have lawyers waiting and looking. Yes. And you have YouTube looking to see if you're yes. going to play anything that looks like it shouldn't be on there. And uh, so oh, yeah. it drives me crazy. I'll go like, hey, Richard, and like the day of mm -hmm. i've got a video you think we could use this video? he said how many times have i got to tell you you can't use a video no. yeah. unless we do something record it, i drive him crazy but well you should show show sign off that's that's right sign off, sign -off that, was really good well yeah. I, so that I was think, our second year and that's the team that really broke, see, broke all the you record. think sign off was better than uh oh, than yeah. the um give me a sign give me a sign yes, yeah I th give me a sign was our first one because yes. give me a sign was kind of campy and corny and yes. a lot of fun but it's just getting ready to know getting yeah, sign -off used to being around had a sign -off lot though. of production value and like yes. video and the guy did that poster of it mm -hmm. and um, i still have that up on on the yeah. wall yeah but yeah, that we was still have a copy of it too you do mm -hmm. well i i <coughs> i took a picture and i'll show it to you later of the mm -hmm. um the article they did in the paper mm -hmm. about rolling over the big boys mm -hmm. and and oh, yeah. uh, and nathan's and i'm standing in the back so it, it looked like behind every great man there's a woman <laughs> it's, it's better but um uh, but anyway it was it I still have that, and my mom's uh, the awards. Remember, we got oh, awards yeah. for everybody, and yeah. they was just like that was the coolest thing in the world. And they uh, preview, uh, it had a premiere, and they showed all of the videos, mm -hmm. and then they announced the winners yeah. there. And and I thought I'd never see something I did up on a screen like that. That was just extremely cool. Yeah. So, oh yeah, I, that was fun, and beating everybody, and especially. Oh, yeah. Yes. Some people I know that <laughs> needed to be beaten, mm -hmm. uh, and mm -hmm. we'll just well, it's, yeah, he still regrets that. We're not going to go into that, <laughs> yes. <laughs> but but they because they say, How Silver Rock they've got this one little teeny studio, yeah, and yeah. how are they going to do anything? <laughs> they just didn't know who they were up against. It was just it was great, so it was so much fun, and you guys were 
were so wonderful to work with. So I just wanted you to come in and talk about me, and I really appreciate that. Well, we did. did. <laughs> I, I mean, the one question I have, I mean, you know, I don't know if y'all can see the whole, there's a sign back here, it's Lone Star Community Radio. This uh-huh. is really cool. And a, But a lot of places usually have, like, a sign, like, you know, so, you know, zero days or, you know, 200 days without an accident. <laughs> and yeah. I was just like, I'm looking around. I'm trying to, there should be a sign here that says how many days Cindy's gone without s- talking about being on Johnny Carson. <laughs> Uh, Richard just grabbed a microphone. I yeah. think we're about to hear. Is that is that at the print shop? Oh still? no! Oh no! <laughs> that, that's her favorite go-to yeah. when she has a guest and there's really nothing to talk about, and she's like, "I was on Johnny Carson." <laughs> and then now it it extended extended to another host we have who yeah. usually follows her on Tuesday. Oh yeah. When he introduces his guest to Cindy. Oh yeah. This is Cindy Clark, and she was on the on the Johnny Carson show. <laughs> See, that's, you know, Not until once, he found but out. twice. Until he <laughs> yes. found out that I interviewed, yes, yeah, right, twice. Um, yes. Until he finds out that I interviewed Bob Smiley. And he goes, you know Bob you Smiley? Know Bob Smiley? Oh, my word. You mean you, you interviewed him? He, you, that's great. You know, like, you'll have to tell me when he's going to be on so I can come up here and just see mm-hmm. if he thinks he's, I mean, he just watches everything. Mm-hmm. All on TikTok and everything. Now, you know TikTok I don't know. Shame TikTok. on TikTok. I mean, <laughs> TikTok is a sh- oh goodness, shame. Yeah. But Bob said, "I'm on TikTok," and I went, "Okay, I have to confess, I have watched you on TikTok, but that's, <laughs> I just watch you, and I don't watch other stuff." And he goes, "But let me tell you what happened. It gave me the biggest numbers I ever oh, had. Yeah. I have just it's crazy." So Cindy said, "Little Cindy, yeah. my gra- granddaughter says, look, I can do something for you on TikTok.'" Yeah. I said, "Can you can? Okay." Yeah. All right. Uh, then she said, he, she said, what do you think is the best video that you've done, you know, in yeah. these shows? And I said, uh, Johnny Carson. <laughs> <laughs> so she took the Johnny Carson. Yeah. Uh, the video. And, yeah. yeah. And did a, the intro. And I kept telling him, you know what we need to do is. You, is it up there? Is he, it, <laughs> he's going to find it. Yeah. Finally. Here there it, it is. is. Okay. <laughs> it's clean enough. We're watching it. Is this the, this is it. the second time you were on. No, this is the first. This is the first time. Mm-hmm. But but will he respect you in the morning? Y- yeah, and she didn't do that one. She didn't yeah. understand that. She says, "What does that mean?" Yeah. I went, well, I don't think that. Oh to. yeah. But it's just a it's just a clip. All she did was just a clip. But it goes. Yeah. This is Cindy Cochran. <laughs> <laughs> and I wanted Richard to go. So Richard, couldn't you just put that that little uh, that little, little part little. on at the front of every show? Yeah. And just so it's it's like I get introduced by Johnny Carson and yeah. and he hadn't done it yet. yet. Why is that, Richard? Because uh, I don't want to. to. Do list. Oh, well, that's simple. Yeah. I wonder yeah. why we why can't. He I just say we need to have like a, you know. I encourage her to find something new. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and have people <laughs> chat in. How, just just put thumbs up. How many people have just, never seen Johnny Carson? They have no idea. And all. Uh, and, <laughs> Cindy goes, my, my friends are asking me, who's the guy? Who's the guy? And, mm-hmm. and what what does he do? And, and they, I said, just tell him. Just tell him, it, that's Paul Newman. And John. they're like, who's Paul no. Newman? No. <laughs> He's, he said, the one, uh, yeah. you know, the, the late night show guy. Who's the one? Jimmy who's, Fallon? Jimmy, Jimmy Fallon. Fallon. Well, it's, well, there was, Jimmy, it's, then it's there was the guy before him, and then there was the guy before him, and then there was the guy, that was Johnny Carson. Yeah. But it was, it was, it was him, a Fallon show or... Yeah, Fallon's the one that followed. Yeah. Because it was, like was Jay Leno. Was, Jay Leno was, was, was yeah. 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 Jay Leno was before Fallon. And yeah. then who's after Jay Leno? That was that Fallon. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you say, if you say Fallon, they go like, oh, man. Yeah. yeah. Okay. How long ago was that guy? How long has that <laughs> thing been on? But um, anyway, so she was, she said, my friends all liked you. Yeah. And within a, a day and a half, there was over 1,600 uh, views of it. Yeah. And so I told Samuel, I said, it's like over 1,600 views of this. <laughs> and he goes, views are nothing. How many people like you? Mm-hmm. And I went, oh, it's 108. And he goes, okay, that's okay. <laughs> 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 but then he takes his out, what they've oh, done, yeah. stuff they've done. And uh, Cindy won't let me see everything that she's done. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I'm going to have to yeah. I, find out how to get to, <laughs> I, I don't know how to though. navigate TikTok yet? She says, you know, there's there's TikTok and then there's TikTok, mm-hmm. and then there's TikTok, mm-hmm. and you have to be careful. 
about you don't go want to go on that. I don't mm-hmm. want you on that. I'm going to restrict you from being able to go <laughs> on that. And I went, don't okay, all right. But I just I'm just wanted to see what Bob was talking about, and yeah. was right. You can get a lot of you get a lot of views from that. I don't know I don't know why you'd get more than YouTube. I, it's more hmm. I guess it's a whole lot more popular than, than it's YouTube. It's out there. It's out there. But anyway, so. I don't know where we were going. Y'all got me out. I'm like that substitute so teacher <laughs> to, to distract me and get me talking about something else. But I, because I want to talk about y'all and what you've got going and mm. tell people how to get a hold of you. Oh, look at that. We're out of time. And what? <laughs> what? <laughs> no, we got plenty of time. Okay. All uh, right. Well, I mean, the cool thing, we, we do, we did have a big promotion and we were going to be live on the Cindy Cochran show yes. this week. That's right. So there was that. Oh. And, great. um, Y'all are, yeah, yeah. y'all are so. <laughs> no, um, I mean, there we we do get to do a lot of things with some really cool charities. Um, uh, the food bank, we just, just might, finished up might, a video yeah, for the food bank. It went was, off really well. Yeah. That one and that video is out there. Mm-hmm. Something because they posted the video. Yep, the Montgomery County Food Bank. You yes. can you can see that if you want. We had a lot of fun, okay. and we used some kind of new technology. So Brian and the Jacob, you don't know Jacob, but um, Brian and Jacob have been working on Unreal Engine at the studio. And that's basically a 3D virtual environment software, right? They use that for the Matrix games and, all, and oh, the Oculus Mandalorian thing. and all those kind of things. So yeah. that's, the, that's the framework for what we're doing and, and trying to get into. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. So we, we, uh, the food bank came in. They said, we, wanna, we have a spaced-themed gala, and we'd like to do – we'd like to put – Jim Carmen, CEO of, of Howard Hughes in space. Can you do it? Yes, we can do it. So I said that before we actually <laughs> figured out that we could do it. Yeah. See, and that's see, great. I'm sure my wife is listening now going, oh, my gosh, I can't believe it. But we did. And um, through all kinds of challenges on that production, we, we managed to make it happen. Yes. Right between COVID and people getting sick and... Mm-hmm. You know, all oh, kinds of things with uh, that production. It's, it made it work. It's, I mean, we've done a lot of <coughs> new technologies over the years. Yes. And this one was definitely the most complicated thing I've ever embarked on. And, but it, but this new technology that we're, we're really embracing and doing a whole lot of down at Silver Rock. And, um, it, it's just taken so much to come together. So there, we've got a team together with Jacob and, and Jennifer and Mike and I, and, and putting it all together, and we, we're, we're getting all ready for this shoot over you know, one week, and it was the next Monday or Tuesday we're supposed to start shooting it. And that Saturday, I'm like, man, I don't feel good. Oh, no. <laughs> and, but I was, it wasn't too bad. But then I thought, you know what, I got some COVID tests. I'll take one of those just so I can rule that out so I'm good to go into the shoot. And it comes back positive. I'm like, oh, crud. And, and Mike was, I knew you had a dinner or something that yes. night, so I didn't call him right away, but I called Jen and Jacob. I was like, hey, y'all feeling okay? And Jen, no, we feel terrible. I was like, go take a COVID test. So it was like, and then I have to call, and then I call Mike as soon as I can, and I'm like, well, we had a four-person crew. <laughs> You've been exposed. <laughs> oh. So the thing with this technology is it kind of requires at least three people, right? Yeah. You've you got a sound person in there that's got to be running sound, yeah. uh, a tech person that's running all of the, the tech from the cameras to the Unreal Engine so that we can key and support this, uh, key this live, right? So we're going to put Jim and his people in a space capsule live. Right, it's being keyed and done, recorded right there at the end, and I lost my entire crew. Yeah, I was, oh I was the only one. Like you were. I was the only did one. It? You went ahead and did it. <laughs> oh, we, yeah. So we, that was the thing. We couldn't do it live, so I had to record it. So we shot it green screen. I brought in Chris Moltop, another masterful director of photography that we bring in every, from time to time, and uh, he helped me with the first day of shooting, and uh, we got all the space stuff shot that day, and. Um, but That's we didn't do it live. We couldn't do it live. So yeah. we had to, once we shot it in over green, Brian and Jacob figured out how to play that back out of the camera and record it live it through Run yeah. Real to give us the same result. So we ended up with the same result afterwards. Mm-hmm. And then we'd take all that into After Effects and do what we needed to do in, inside of After Effects to make it work. So And, and that was for the food bank. So if you look at it, it's the 
Montgomery County Food Bank. Mm-hmm. Yeah, look at them, especially on social media. They put yeah. those up. It was such, and it's such cool. It's you know, we can plan out as things, we speak. Richard's finding it. But when you it. get thrown mm-hmm. thrown a wrench, it's like we learned something new. And so it was like here we were thinking we were going to figure out this one technology, and then all of a sudden we couldn't be there. And then by figuring out how to work around it, we actually learned 20 new tricks that week oh, of man. how to do more. So it was a, it was a, oh, Mike had a very rough week so, that week. It was tough. And, been a tough uh, start to the year. Um, yeah. Oh. Uh, but by the time we got, when it, when it was coming together and we were seeing it on the screen, everything that we envisioned two weeks earlier was coming together. We were like, ah, okay. And then out of that, we, we look at it and we're like, Oh, we got ten new ideas. How make this even better <laughs> next week? So, well, how did, what, was so it live for what reason? Was it no? no it, that's that's yeah. what we were aiming for. Yeah, you know, live we, on what? Live. So a live green key mm-hmm. to a virtual set. Oh, I'm so thinking we're putting you had, them, to, you had yeah. a deadline that you're, you're oh. going to be airing on no, some. No, no, no. A scr- oh, okay. Just a, to a, to the virtual set. Okay. Yeah. So you're not keying in post. You're not going through After Effects or anything like oh, okay. that. Okay. We're keying it in. Unreal, in, in or the, with our ultimate keyers, you know, one of those, and it's being recorded live, so that the actors can see that they're in, actually in this capsule and see where they're interacting and what they're doing. But I couldn't do any of that when push came to shove that week. Mm-hmm. So, oh. but you know, that's that's one of the projects. One of the other projects that we were working on up to that is a documentary on the woodlands. So, I've gotten we really? got got in touch with, uh, or George's Coffee Club got in touch with us. And said, "Hey, we want to do some some interviews for um, about the Woodlands and about George Mitchell and with the people that we still have with us. Before you know, as as you know, the people that started the Woodlands, a lot of those right. first first guys are are no longer with us, unfortunately. So they came to us to say, do you have any of these interviews?' And we said, "Yeah, we've got a few, but we'd like to shoot some more. Can you do it?' And because we're really working this technology, trying to work this technology, we all decided let's do that. And put them in a virtual in a virtual environment live so the key is live the uh-huh. switch is live and when we come out at the other end it's all one piece mm-hmm. oh that's so, amazing yeah I, I could show you some images from that yeah. and we interviewed kevin brady we interviewed um you know and Tom, snyder and, uh, yeah uh, um, and joel derrick and you know all the all the ones that have really started that really were integral in the early stages of the woodlands right. and mm-hmm. interfaith and things like that well we interviewed so, we interviewed george mitchell mm-hmm. like and, three times and actually that yeah. just came back up like yeah. yesterday we're going to be using so we're going to be using that again. you're going to be using it oh good yeah interfaith yeah. called us up and said uh, they'd like to do a uh, history video or update the history video that we did way back then for yeah. that and um, what do we have and what can we get to? So we're, that interview is coming back. Isn't that weird? Yeah. I, I just wonder uh, if if it goes the place where he said, um, how did you, I asked him how you named the Woodlands. <laughs> yeah. And he, he said he let her, he was mm-hmm. going to let her do it. And she wanted to call it Strawberry Fields. And he <laughs> said, I wouldn't have anything called Strawberry Fields. <laughs> so so um, yeah. I'll just name it as we find. Yeah. And uh he said, "I'll let her name something else," but I that that couple was mm-hmm. so great. That oh. was so much fun to to interact with them. And George Mitchell was so down to earth, like whatever mm-hmm. we need to do, let's do it. it. It has been through with what we've done over the years, especially get getting to interview George Mitchell and some of these founders, and actually watching this city of the woodlands but and it's not just the woodlands i mean it's this whole area right um just coming and and to where it is now and so many people don't know the story of that and the coolest thing is the story doesn't really go back that far it's not like it's hundreds of years old no um but uh 50 but years yeah and it's really neat and a lot of the people when you drive around and you see the names of these schools and all that you're like oh there's snyder elementary I'm like, that was my neighbor <laughs> you know <laughs> and and, uh, and so the you know these street names and all those people they're a, a lot of them are still here and when you walk under the bridge by the goose's acre and you see this you know marquee to alex sutton you know he's a he's such a cool guy to, to mm-hmm. just hear stories about these early you know thoughts they had of designing things so well, here's an example, and I know your viewers won't be able to see this, but of what we're doing. I love so to tease them like that. You can that. see these two, yeah. these two gentlemen here. Well, that's um, Bruce Tuff, and I don't know the gentleman that he's interviewing there. but Bruce Tuff. Yeah. Oh, Bruce. So that environment right there yeah. was it actually looked like that. So green screen, here. full green. Sure. Yeah. 
and I can show my that's camera. the finished project. Yeah. That's yeah. the finished product. So it is kind of like what you'd expect to see in movies doing green screen, but it all happens in real time. Yeah. And so can you know, you having the green screen, but then we, we can put them in an environment in, uh, you know, to where it looks like they're yeah. actually in a, and then the, Be the careful, cool thing, don't being, swipe left. Don't swipe left. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and, but having these kidding, environments honey. in real time, it <laughs> enables us to have our studio be uh, kind of any place. We yeah. can do all Anywhere. kinds of environments. Yeah. We're doing that. And, and uh, we've had so many Does times where we'd have to travel across Houston to have this multi hour setup and sit in traffic and get there to run up and lug all kinds of gear we can upstairs into some building to do an interview for 20 minutes and where and then it'd be raining outside mm-hmm. or there's something or there's bad weather yeah. or noise or there's and all a that. lawn crew oh yeah something. lawn crews oh, and all that. but in our studio i mean we've had it to where it was raining and thundering outside we didn't even know it was raining until you open the door so we recently yeah. started another project to that point yeah. um, with called the Pros Show, and th- there's a golf pro out of Carlton Woods that, that had been doing this for the, for Carlton Woods for a long time. Came to us, uh, Jason Alexander, came to us and said, uh, "Hey, Mike, oh, he's got he's six foot two, full of energy, more energy than you could possibly imagine. Mm-hmm. Mike, I want to do this show. Can you guys do it? Yeah, sure, man. Let's talk about it. Show me some notes. He shows me two pages of handwritten notes. I said, "We're gonna have to get this organized." So, long story <laughs> short, we got it organized, and we've done now two shows Richard. and the last show we did was with an, an interview with um, Kubiak Texans head coach oh so, my god yeah, yeah, yeah. oh how fun so it was a really lot of fun yeah. and um, we did the same thing put him in green screen put him over green and shot shot live to the background um, and I wish I could bring that one up because the background on that if you get it get a chance take a look at it you can find the pros show yeah. on YouTube uh, or he pros show he, he's working yeah. on it over here i gave him a link there's a yeah that here, that there. was that's been a fun fun thing and exciting and such okay. again a neat group this will give you an idea that is the, not just passionate about their the uh, finished product oh are so they can't see they have no idea what this is going to look no, like we, at we all. put the monitors out so they, they can see it oh you did yeah. okay that's amazing. Yeah, that one has really, I believe that one's got some legs. It's mm-hmm. a full 30 minute yeah. show. That's it right there. Yeah, he's, yeah. he's got it. And it's really cool. And it's not just sports. The Jason's son is a special needs kid. So it's actually going to help promote and bring awareness to their needs and, and all oh, that. That's so great. it's like anything with a heart, you know, it's like, oh, yeah, we're going to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then also the extra hours is just fun. So that's actually in our studio. And all in real time, so where they can interact, we can put things on the screens. We can, we can even add, you know, Zoom or Skype calls in real time in a virtual environment from anywhere in the world. Oh. And uh, and then with it, since it's all in real time, we do have the ability to actually stream it live. So it can be very much in and out, all in real time. And, That's um, amazing. It's just expanding oh, us from it. having a, a simple there white is. set. There's Coach. Yeah. Oh, okay. And so, so all of that, fun. all of that is based. On, he's the only thing in our studio is him. The rest of that is in a computer. Mm-hmm. That is, is just Dion and amazing. Yep. Oh, you have come a long way, baby. That looks like. <laughs> we've we've yeah. done a little jump, bit. Jump far into it because it, it changes up a lot. Well, um, see when you some of that's shot outside. Um, yeah, just yeah. You can, oh. <laughs> <I> mean, <I. laughs> He's got some characters that are just fascinating. Yeah. What does that and, say? And then, I, I just read yes. it. Yeah, it yeah, said yeah. it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, don't golf, swipe left. Let's just say that's a golf term. It's a oh, golf term. Okay. Yeah. No. Oh, good. Yeah. I didn't. I know can it. see them. I can see them <laughs> advertising on TV. There's Coach. Yeah. And they're all in green. Have, yep. Even the desk. Yes. So the and, desk and you was got the reflection yeah. of the. Mm-hmm. That's oh. Jacob. That's Jacob that made that happen for us. Yeah. Oh. He's re- did really good. He's it, done a really good he, job. Did he come on as an intern and they just? No, no. Jacob actually came to us through uh, Jennifer. You do you remember Jennifer? So yes. Jennifer started yeah. with us ten years ago, I think. Now, um, mm-hmm. thanks to Mr. Larry McKee. Yes. And oh, that's right. She she started dating Jacob years and years ago. Yeah. Well, they got married and now they have a little baby, a baby yeah. girl. And uh, Jacob is our mastermind behind and, the, and, the 3D program. And we have to real engine. We have to say JC, 
because you know that JC is the little one, and so JC we we get Jen and Jacob because JC comes to the studio and brings them. Oh, so. I love I love that JC. JC yeah. is there is there well, a little baby? Do you uh, do, are you still doing uh, the Nesh? Yes, we do. That yes. was actually the first project I was talking to you about. You know, I was so. I was talking to Denton. Yeah, and I said, well, you know, Brian and Mike are doing uh, that podcast. It's not podcast, but it's. Is it a, pod, uh, call a podcast? Call it is podcast, a podcast, yeah. but it's also it's also a TV show. Yeah. So okay. It goes out as two shows. So yeah. you so it's just an audio version of it goes out. No, or also an audio yeah. Version. There's an audio version. It goes on YouTube, um, which means it's limited to what he could talk about. <laughs> and, and then uh, Rumble, which opens up more. And then there's Salem News, which is a radio, but they've also got into some video podcasts. And uh-huh. then there's a Salem News channel that it goes on. And uh, Dinesh is the one yes, who the Dinesh D'Souza show. It yeah. depends on where it is. Dinesh D'Souza show or Dinesh D'Souza podcast. Yeah. And, and that one's been f- pretty fascinating and gotten us I into I was uh, so shocked. Yeah. He said, Did you know you who's you upstairs? Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. because he going. said, y'all got to be quiet or something. We had to be quiet because the, mm-hmm. y'all, yeah. were, y'all were shooting that. And yeah. I was like, so, oh man, if I could yeah. just go touch his coattails, <laughs> that would be great. Because <laughs> that he's like a hero in mine. Oh, yeah. Well, that and was the big is. project. Last, that was a big project that started last year yeah. was his 2,000 mules. Oh, he so is. we were fortunate enough to be hired by by them and the executive producers to um, to and put that together some, at the studio. Yeah, so. even that show, that was yesterday's or a couple of days ago. And, they, and like the guest, I can't pronounce it, Yair Nyet Ma, nah, yeah, Okay, I got okay. it. <laughs> I mean, it's like the guest he has, the guy that was on yesterday is the son of the prime minister of Israel. And, wow. you know, there was one morning. Yeah, that's him. He was really interesting. He, he's really outspoken and, and uh, just a really neat advocate for what's going on over there. And, you know, we've had just uh, so yeah. many people on there. It's been really yo, fascinating. And yo. it's like when we see this stuff in, in the news and things going on, it's like here, it's like I have to get beyond a Zoom call with these people for yeah. 20 minutes instead of getting the, the little one minute snippet that's edited. Right. Um, you know, we actually get to be parts of conversation and stuff. And that's and amazing. I, you know, I, I could say I've been on a phone call with Trump. I didn't get to talk to him, but I was I had to like <laughs> you could hear him. I had to patch it through and technically I was on the phone call, but <laughs> Yes, yes. Well you're probably and, uh, glad and you didn't say anything. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then part of two thousand mules is Mike and I and our wives did did have to go to the premiere at Mar a Lago. So, you know, we we, yeah, we Y'all we, did? We, yeah, we, we went to so oh. we, we got to go do I that. Love that. Um, yeah. And it was weeks that before was the FBI came and, and you know, it destroyed <laughs> did all that stuff. <laughs> but it was a lot it of fun. Destroyed everything. And we got to meet but some y'all of our, you, uh, we got to meet some of our heroes, Kevin Sorbo and yep. Hercules. Yeah. <laughs> and, wow. And, uh, stood, stood, shook his hand, had a couple oh, of drinks yeah, with him. Oh, yeah, was cool. It was really neat. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have a Dwayne Johnson lookalike come in here after oh. my show every time. Nice. In the <laughs> <laughs> he, d- I thought it, That's I solid. thought it was Dwayne Johnson. It, yeah, I walked out. It's Armando's show, and they they promote all the events that are going on. Yeah, but I I never seen. Him. And he comes walking in. He's got the glasses on. He's got the tattoo little yeah. sleeves, and he's got the build yeah. and the look and the. I, so I passed by, and Armando was saying, "Hey, how do you know Bob Smiley?" And I went, "Bob Smiley, how do you know?" How do you know him? <laughs> he, he said that's that's coffee or coffee, coffee, yeah. coffee. And so, uh, anyway, it was like, man. But y'all are making my my interviews with um, with my uh, my exterminator <laughs> um, look bad. And so, uh, you know, I'm going to have to kick up but my have, game. I mean, it's been fun because you've had Denton Florian that we did. We did our yes. Sam Houston project with right. that got us an Emmy Award. Right. That was that one's out there and great. And we're trying to expand that into a Texas show podcast. So that's kind of in that's coming. And and uh, one of our premier interviews was Craig Campabella, who is absolutely the most interesting man in Montgomery County. I got County. him before you. I know I got him I, before you. No. No, I got him no. before back in back in the day. Craig we Campabella did the voice 
of Sam Houston I know on our he documentary. Did. He was, did that because we got him for yeah, oh, the yeah. women's video that we did. Yes, yes, and, and, uh, and, and he is. And I and I got to do. Uh, what did I get to do? I did something on that video. I just maybe it was Cater. just. A, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> was it a? I did a voiceover for it. it yes. For it was for oh, PBS. Yeah. yeah. Because for PBS was yes. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. for the Sam Houston documentary. Yeah. Yes, you did. Yeah. yeah see. Right. Nah, 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 nah. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, and I haven't gotten a royalty from that yet. Anyway, but I want to tell y'all thank you so much for being here. It is just, you know, it's amazing. Y'all are amazing, and the, the Silver Rock Productions, SilverRockProductions.com. Dot net. net. Okay. <laughs> we, I was just testing that you. Was I knew that. One we I knew that. Get. I, I we just was. T- yeah. Some <laughs> construction company or something. Yeah. Dot, dot com and. Oh, that's yeah, that's right. Net. Well, dot net, silverrockproductions.net. net, silverrock.net. Silverrock.net. Silver it's okay. Rock. You'll it's not it. all one word. It's silver rock. <gasps> and Cindy wanted me to y'all to bring silver rock candy, and you didn't. Oh, I forgot to no, call. No, we, did. we have I, some. Okay. Those yeah. little silver rock chocolates. Yes. Yeah. Oh, she said. Some. Please, she has. It, and said again tonight, this morning to do that. Okay. okay bring the, so uh, I've got to wrap. I, uh, we're going out, right? Okay. Uh, <laughs> first responders, we love you so much, and we admire you, and we think you're great, and what's great is that God loves you even more than we do. But I uh, thank you so much. And This is my uh, new, uh, weekend eve. It's Friday eve. So hey, y'all have a good weekend. I'm going to have a good weekend. You've been listening to the Cindy Cochran Show that was sponsored by Chris Wooten, uh, and it's Real Reality Radio. Every week, people ask the same two questions. Are they ready to retire? Will their savings last for their lifetimes? Hi, this is Chris Wooten with Wooten Financial Group. Our firm has been in Montgomery County for decades, but the hopes and dreams of the people we serve never change. We help answer these two questions and many more that people have about their uncertain financial future. We have a simple introductory client experience that allows us to get to know the client and includes a few meetings for the client to kick the tires at no charge. We provide a concise, one-page summary that helps the client get a better handle on which questions are the right questions for them. To learn more about Wooten Financial Group's process of helping their clients to a clear financial future and to see their contact information, visit Cindy Cochran Show page on IRLoneStar.com forward slash TCCS. Wooten Financial Group is a proud sponsor of the Cindy Cochran Show. Wooten Financial Group is available by phone at 936-449. 5952 or visit them on the web at www.wootenfinancial.com. That's www.wootenfinancial.com. This program is sponsored by the Wooten Financial Group. It is not the intent of Wooten Financial Group to render or offer personalized investment advice or financial planning advice through this radio program or any related website. Wooten Financial Group's participation in this program is limited to providing general information on financial matters and should not be construed as financial recommendation or investment advice. Investment advisory services are offered through Game Plan Advisors, Inc., a registered investment advisor registered with the Securities and Exchange Commission and the State of Texas. Insurance services are offered through Wooten Financial Group, Inc., Game Plan Advisors and Wooten Financial Group, Inc. are affiliated through common ownership and neither firm is affiliated with The Cindy Cochran Show. No listener should assume that any information presented and or made available on this program serves as the receipt of or a substitute for personalized individual advice from Game Plan Advisors, Wooten Financial Group, or any of their representatives.